Oh, man. Is it good to hear that sound? I really love that jingle. I like the Sony part of it better, though, and that you never get to hear that. Only if you have original PS1. We're playing this on a PS Trip. Well, it's been a while since I've played an RPG, and I actually drew this out of a hat. One out of six contestants, this was the winner. Because I couldn't decide which game I wanted to play. But yeah, this is Chrono Cross. Let's watch this sweet intro. What was the start of all of this? When did the cogs of fate begin to turn? Perhaps it is impossible to grasp that answer now, from deep within the flow of time. Look at that lamp physics. Lamp tech. But, for a certainty back then, we loved so many yet hated so much. We hurt others and we hurt ourselves, and were hurt ourselves. Yet even then, we ran like the wind, whilst our laughter echoed under cerulean skies. <clears throat> cerulean? Cer... Uh, plenty of great songs in this game. The soundtrack... Maybe the best soundtrack of all times. It's debatable, but you know what I mean, like, to me. So this game, a lot of people pooped on it, you know, because it was not what they felt should be the successor to Chrono Trigger. But since I never played Chrono Trigger, I didn't give a fuck. It was just like this unique ass game that like had a lot of heart, great soundtrack, full of colors. Like, look how many. This is like a colorful game. And uh, it just came out of nowhere for me. Uh, I fell in love with it. I've never beaten it. Uh, so, this is actually a good game to have drawn because I can beat the game and say I beat it. Chrono Cross! Yeah! Alright. Let's get it started. In here. New game. Sure. Surge. I'll keep that all default. So the game kind of starts out weird, um, sort of like flash forward in the future, like where you will be, but it doesn't make any sense when you first start the game, like who the people are and why you're there. But it's cool. Oh, and the characters you start with are random. Razzly. What is it, Sergi? You look trouble. No turning back now. Oi! <laughs> Come on, Serge. Uh, kid. If only this game had voice acting. Uh, it could be another Dragon Quest VIII in, like, terms of charm. But of course, you know, PS1 voice acting is not the best, so maybe it's for the best. Oh, sorry. Analog mode. Whoa, change the settings. Uh, left stick sensitivity. I don't know, analog, I guess? I know. Fuck if I know! 
that work. Okay. So, we're gonna go to the right. Now, we should avoid all battles here, if possible. Because they don't mean anything. We're only gonna be here for like a minute. Go touch a gem, and then jump in a portal. Well, bam! So this came out pretty late, uh, 2000. So this was the end. PS1's life. And there we go. We made it. Beat the game! Sort of. <laughs> there are a lot of characters you can get in this game. One of the negatives of the game is that maybe there's too many characters, so there's not enough bonding and developing for said characters. Only a couple of them are major roles. So... Yep, it's floating. Okie dokie! Heart starts beating. And then all this stuff, you're like, what is going on? Oh dear. He's like, hey, hey. So that happened. Um, now the game begins. That music. What's up, Mom? Yep. That's true. So this game does have to do with time, although not traveling through different times like Chrono Trigger. It's more like parallel world kind of time. You see one this size? Got to be from the legendary Dragon King Palace. You're probably right. <laughs> Squid gut pasta. Mm. Oh yeah! Come out of scale. Yep, gotta chase your dreams. Yeah. I like how you can walk away as people are talking. Should 
Sure. She sells stuff, so whatever. I live here. Goofy? No, I don't want to talk to him. I do not want to initiate the tutorial. Maybe I do for this video. I don't know. Humana, humana, humana. She sure is pretty. Port Town of Termina has its share of dancers. But I say no one compares to Miki. <laughs> I'd love to see them jiggle. Talking about her arms. Yeah, don't tell Grandma. <laughs> How I'd love to see those arms jiggle. It's good to absorb everything uh, when you first start a game. Get a sense of uh, the atmosphere. Group of thieves! Bunch of houses. Cold blooded bastards. Radical dreamers, huh? Wouldn't want to run into those bandits. What the fuck? Why don't you try my Heckrin soup? Right, right. I'm gonna go over here. Treasure! Oh man, it's got a Hecarim bone. I don't know. That's interesting. I've never found that. I'm not a master at this game, like Final Fantasy VIII, so it's gonna be kind of sloppy. Do you want to hear the real truth about the world? Insanity leads to chaos, then to solitude. The fruitless effort of adding meaning to what is meaningless. A lone crimson tear falls to the sea. The echo of the remaining star cries out in the infinite vacuum. The least I can do is send my distant prayers over the wind of time, setting sail on dreams. I was moved. It was beautiful. Rundown shack. it again. Sure. That means you like my poem. I'm the honorary president now. Yay. <sighs> Insanity leads to chaos, then to solitude. Okay. Yeah. Poems don't make sense. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I, they don't resonate with me. I, they just seem like random sentences. You're fired. <laughs> I was just kidding. So I got this Hecron bone. Should I give it to him? I wonder. Should I save it? I can't talk to him. Maybe I save it for... Well, hey! Fat guy! Okay. Hey! Take this heck run whatever. You're a loser. Sure. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I don't want to hear it again. No. Oh yeah, your poem is so great. No, you can't make it. You can't make it with that. You're fired. Again, fired you twice. Ellipses for days. All right. So since the world deals with a parallel universe, um, this town exists in another time, basically in another world, I guess. And everyone's completely different. So that's why I'm trying to 
get a vibe for the villagers in here. Uh-huh. Break her in a little? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I will. Break her in. Komodo dragon scales. Well, I think I might give you one. Whoa, I didn't know you could talk to two people at the same time. I think I just broke the game. I've never enabled two people talking. <laughs> She's like continuing her conversation. Hecron bones. Oh! I see. Well. Alright. Move. Gotta go talk to this fisherman. Hey. Hey, you. Kiki's growing up so quickly. It's been about 10 years since I became a fisherman. Back then, I still had other aspirations, but I ended up succeeding after my dad. Everything here represents 10 years of my life. Lion sharks, sawfish, six horn, narwhals, you name it. They represent all my hard work and dedication. I'm happy with my current lifestyle, but lately, I get to thinking. I could have had a different future if I had chosen a different path. I'd be living a completely different life. I wonder where the other path may have led me. Yeah, it is. Take it. Amulet I made from a lion shark tooth ten years ago. I don't need it anymore. Thanks. All you gotta say? I get this feeling like there's another me living another life. If you happen to meet him, I want you to give him that amulet. Tell him it's from the other you. Alright, if I see another version of you, another world, I mean, what are the chances of that? Yes, I do. Mother Komodo. That Kiki. Well, if you would move. What are you doing to your lizard friend? It's freaking me out. That's right. Well said. You are a man of the sea. Oh man. Rock and roll to trap the sucker. Use the lay of the land and make a surprise attack. Always one that likes to play tag. Run with all your might. Okay. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Guts. Not funny. Brighter tomorrow? Just fucking shells, man. Or scales, not shells. Sorry. Oh, shut up! Fisherman. Don't be messing with my boats! Here's my gal. Good. Kids have it easy. Each day lasted an eternity. That's not true. Days ended like really quick. Now days last an eternity. Now that you live in reality. It's your fault. 
All right, I'll go get some scales. Three. Well, see you guys later. I got scales to get. I could go talk to the chief and he would give me a tutorial, but pff, tutorials are for losers. We're gonna go to Opasa Beach. Through Lizard Rock. Alright. We gotta catch three of those Komodos. And we gotta also fight this guy to get a treasure. So the battle system is a little weird. Um, it's based on, like, the dominant element on the field. You see the field effect in the top left corner. It's blue, green, and yellow, so it's not dominant in any one element. But if you cast two more yellow spells, it will be completely yellow, and thus uh, all yellow spells will deal more damage. And of course you have innate elements related to characters, so you're weak to certain elements. Uh, but anyways, you also have this little attack system where this is a stronger attack, but it has a lower percentage of hitting. But if I hit it, and I get the hit, then, you know, I get more damage overall, see? But usually 1, 2, 3 is kind of like the standard progression, so... See, 1 only does 3 damage, it's kind of crappy. So he used Squirt Gun, and now the field is gonna be moved forward one step. Now it's green, yellow, blue. But yeah. Start with the one. And the two. Oh, and each successive hit raises the percentage. So that's why you typically start with uh, the low percentile. Though I like to just go for high, high damage. Even though there's a low percentage. Ah, yes! Um... No leveling up, just like different growth levels you reach based on like how far you are in the game, like what boss you've just beat will give you a new growth level. We're gonna push this rock. Now we're gonna get this lizard to go back. Gotcha! All right, let's kill some Komodos. Hmm. Oh, see, you missed. Now you gotta do the three, just to make up for it. And that level two, that has to do with elements. Uh, this is a level one ability, so whenever you have one level available to you, you can use this to get cure plus one. You have to be level 2, and you get the levels by successively attacking, I think? And of course you get more levels as your character grows in uh, strength and such. It's kind of weird, but like, you don't have to grind, so I think that's actually kind of neat. You do a little bit, but like, not that much. It's yeah, pretty linear game. Other than the whole, like, having to find 50 characters and all the conditions related to them, which is uh, kind of annoying. Like, sweeping in. Bam! Oh, missed. Oh. I miss I I didn't really explain that. See how it says 7.0 on the bottom. That is like what level? Uh like that's the entire amount of attacks you can do. 
And that includes magics or elements. Um, and well, you'll see. Fuck, I'm not. I'm not good at explaining shit. It's weird. It's a weird system. It's weird as fighting a couple guys. So we can get our HP up and stuff. Move out of the way. I don't want you. I want to fight him. Come on. Let's go, beach bum. Ah, oh, you missed? are shown on the map, which is good. It's not random battles. There we go. More crap found that I don't need. There is a weapon crafting system, so... I'm not usually a fan of crafting equipment, but... Uh... Whatever, I mean, Final Fantasy VIII had it, and that was the greatest game ever, so... Oh, what? Get the out of here, man. Sometimes I think those percentages don't mean what they mean, you know, like... Sometimes you'll have like 98% and it'll miss and you'll be like, is that even possible to miss? Like... I don't know. Hey! Hey! Fucking asshole! Sometimes you just get, uh, things like that to happen. You're being greedy. I could've easily just mashed X and beat him. But I decided to go for the damaging ones. Okay. Now we have to time our leap onto this lizard, which is kind of annoying. Got it, though. PlayStation 1, you know, not like... So that sequence kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy 7. When you jump onto that swinging thing and it was just... You could never time it. Same type of thing. Alright, Komodo pup. God damn it! I'm gonna beat your ass. Ha! Evade! Fuck you! <laughs> just, just die! Just die. Wow, they are owning me right now. I'm almost dead. Oh my gosh, do I run? I guess I gotta heal or something. What does this do? Hold on. Small HP. Alright. What happens? For me messing around. Okay. Alright, 
more HP bonus. So you can heal after a battle. Uh, provided you haven't used the element that is in your inventory. It heals. That's why I used the disposable tablet instead of my cure, because I wanted to heal after battle. Alright. Wow. Jerk. Smack me. Hope you guys like my new layout here. Okay, as you can see, I didn't get any buffs that time, meaning I'm all filled up with stats for this level, for this growth level. Go down here. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, it, it's coming. Come on. Come here. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Silver Lope. Oh, let's equip that. I think I got a helmet, right? Um. Okay, what does this do? Hit percentage up 2%. Sure. Up. Oh, got all sorts of treasures. That's not fair, man. I was still looking at the tablet. I don't know if there's like an ambush, like a back attack. I don't remember. Critical hit. I always go for it, like it's, you know, 4th and 25. You know, a team isn't gonna go for that, but if you're playing Madden, you're gonna go for it. Because it's a video game. This is a video game, man. This is video game mentality. Whoa! Never mind, I just gotta... Maybe that's the final buff. I don't even know. I can't even tell you. All right, so we gotta get over there. This guy's gonna run from us. We're gonna jump in a hole. Pop out another hole. Found a bone. Oh, what the hell? Came out of the ground. Fuck that guy. Beach bum, more like beach bitch. Really? Really? Yeah. Take that. This game is very rich with color, though. You see what I mean? It's a colorful game. I like it. And of course you jump to another uh, enemy mid-combo. Your percentages go back down, as you can see. So. Dude, this guy in a squirt gun, he's gotta let it go. Just leave me alone with your fucking squirt gun. Squirt on somebody your own size. Okay, no more buffs. That must mean that I'm done. <clears throat> okay, let's chase after this lizard. You just have to keep running after him until you catch him. Oh, I didn't even see that uh, treasure over there. 
How do I get to that? Oh, the hole! That's right. Yeah, the... I didn't go in the hole. I'm a dummy. I'm a big dummy. Big dummy. Gotta preserve herself for, uh... A big boss fight. Here's Mama Komodo. She's pissed. She's like, how dare you kill my children for some scales, which is kind of bad if you think about it. Not cool. Double the tails. That's how you know she's uh, ready to kick some tail. Because there's two tails. I'm hilarious. So the more elements that are on the screen, right, like, if there were two blue on the screen, I think my cure would actually do more because it's also blue. Uh, by casting cure, I would, of course, change the field to more blue. I don't want to do that because it'll make her beams stronger. So we're just going to use the tablet. Little poke. Here we go. She's gonna use another blue attack here and it's made me all damaged and stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna be safe and use another tablet. Get the blue out of the field. So we're just gonna go for it. Mmm! And you're done. Nighty night. I feel like such a prick. Why would you do that, Surge? See that growth level? I got a boner. Yes. I don't know. Got the last Komodo scale. Now we can go impress our lady. First, we gotta go jump in this hole. Jump in this like butthole in the ground there. It's kind of weird. Ground butthole. Ivory helmet again. I wonder if you can equip two of them. I bet you you can. This game is all kinds of stupid, so. Ah. <sighs> Fuck this. I'm playing Star Ocean. I'm just kidding. I do want to play Star Wars now, but... The three I was thinking about playing, uh, just to let you know, were this, Star Ocean 2, and Final Fantasy 12. So, I'll get to all of them. Also wanted to do Wild Arms and Wild Arms Alter Code F simultaneously, because they're the same game, just a remake, you know? And then kind of show off, like, key differences, life between one or the other in the playthrough, you know? That's a project, though. Take a while to do that. Heck yeah, I did. The sea never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this since long before we were born. It's been here for an eternity, it seems. It's probably seen many things, heard many things. It'll probably keep rolling in and out long after our lifetime without a single change. That's true. Just the two of us. I remember that. I do. Oh, there's always a promise. Always making promises in these games. I 
Aren't memories strange? Just when you think you've forgotten about something, it comes floating back into your heart. Lying there and wait, waiting for the right moment. We might even remember this very moment someday. 10 to 20 years? That one day. I have a moment just like that where you're talking about moments and you remember the moment you're talking about moments. I know exactly what she's talking about. We'll forget it eventually. <laughs> we'll never forget this day. Nothing better than a moment where you're talking about moments. So now Serge is, uh, she was about to like pop the question or whatever, but you know, he's being called by the sea. But yeah, those moments, like I remember in middle school, me and a friend were sitting outside, like there was like a weird, like random outside day we had. We were just physical activity outside all day. I don't know why. And he carried rocks around with him uh, in a bag. And he like, for every experience he had, it was like a little pouch. For every experience he had, he would pick up a rock off the ground. And they all looked different. And they would remind him of a moment. And that's, you know, all this should not make much sense to you right now, but it will. But yeah, he would have a rock for each moment. And he was sitting there talking about the moments. And I was like, man, that's the coolest thing ever. He just picks up rocks off the ground and he remembers which moment was associated with that rock. And here we are just sitting around talking about uh, memories, you know? And that becomes a memory in itself. It's quite, it's quite interesting. And he passes on the beach. <laughs> I wonder how that guy's doing. I haven't seen him in a while. Medasher. What are you doing now, boy? It's dangerous to sleep out here. What on earth are you doing lying down? I'm just chilling out on the beach, you know? Getting my tan, bruh. Oh yeah, this is a silent protagonist. He doesn't talk. <laughs> so, you know, he can't actually ask questions. They just have to assume the question was asked. Are you a friend of Lena's? She's in the village babysitting. That's good. So this is the parallel world. Don't need don't mean to spoil it for you, but I mean it, it should become obvious in like a minute or two. All right. And we have this awesome new overworld music, which is probably the best overworld music ever. This is called Another World, right? And the other world's called Homeworld. I almost don't want to leave this world, man. Okay. Good ass song. And of course, everything's different. Instead of uh, Komodo dragons, now you have these fish that are tearing up the place. Oh wait, I gotta get treasure chests. I'm passing up treasures. What am I doing? Let's fight some of these guys, I guess. Uh... Dun dun dun! Opa fish! Opa fish! Die. a little more powerful than the Komodo. What kind of weapon is that? Like an ore? Is there a name for that? 
is it like a bow? Two blade, like blade on either end, like a bladed s staff. Like, is there a name for that? I don't know. All right. Well, we gotta get in some fights to get this treasure chest. Dun, dun, dun. Fuck out of here. Yeah. I'm not sure if you level up with one character, that when you get other characters, they will also be leveled up the same. Not really sure. But... I guess we'll figure it out. So E3's coming up. Oh, by the time you see this, it'll be over. <laughs> Sorry, I have to not talk about things that are happening. I always forget that, you know, because I date my videos by talking about something. So let's just not. Let's not do that. Alright. E3 is not coming up, guys. This is, uh, the future. Oh, come on, man. Fucking fish. Fish prick. Look at those grumpy ass fish. They're like, ah, I'm grumpy fish. <laughs> no reservation killing these fish. Komodo dragons look happy. Jolly animals. Oh. No more upgrades again. I've completed my leveling. Oh, there's nothing here. Up there. Let's go around. Dun 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 dun. Could be some maybe I'm gonna mash X around everything. You never know. You never know. Mash X. Hello fish. Greetings. You're too slow. You're too dead. Jump at Jehoshaphat's. Bunch of damage. Yeah, so this game, Xenogears, and, uh, hmm. Final Fantasy VIII. They give me pretty much, like, the best memories, I think, of PlayStation 1. 
this is my memory of PlayStation 1. Great music. Like, touching, heartfelt game. Yeah. I think both this and Xenogears came around, around the same time. Like, Square just pumped them out at the end of the PS1 cycle. Final Fantasy IX as well. Threads of Fate as well. Yeah, there's like a bunch of... I don't really like Threads of Fate, but... A bunch of games came out with Square. Hmm. Notice how the Komodo Dragons in this world are, uh... Aggro. They ain't fucking around. <laughs> you gonna jump on me? Uh, I, I want to see. Does he jump on me? I really would like to see. Hey, it's me. I'm just. <laughs> he does. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, that's good. That's good stuff. You see, there's like no point in fighting these guys right now, though, because there's nothing to be gained. F you. Never get a quick kill. Never. Of course not. All right. Any other treasures here? Another ivory helmet, man. That's some helmets right there. Might as well fight this stupid fish. Fight him to the death. Get more spoils. You mash- it's weird, like, if you mash X... It seems like it doesn't combo, like, most of the time. Like, if I just mash X, it's gonna be, like, a lot more missing. Like, it's best to just, like, wait. Yeah, 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 okay. Finally done. Now let's exit. Alright. Arnie Village we go.